So this is our star burst decoration. So these are our colourful little star bursts that I've already made. You need a skein, a square piece of paper, and this time a pair of scissors. So these just burst up out of the your hand, the table, wherever you place them, burst out of your Christmas tree. So you need to take a square piece of paper. Again, size is your preference. A bigger one will make a bigger star. A smaller one will make a smaller star. As long as it's square, it will still work. So you need to fold the bottom edge up to make a rectangle and crease. It's very important to do it from the bottom up, not the other way around. So fold the bottom right hand corner up to the middle and crease. You can line it up if you have a board like this, but it's not necessary. Open it back out to the rectangle and then fold the top right corner down to the middle. Again, crease and then open it back to a rectangle. Fold the bottom left hand corner into the center of the crease that you just made on the right hand side and again crease. Rotate it all around to the right and fold the little edge up to the top folded edge and crease. Fold the left hand edge up to join your last fold and crease. And then flip it over so that it makes like a triangle. Then you fold the bottom edge up to the left hand edge and crease. And then the portion on your right hand side needs to be cut away. So you cut off the left side wherever you'd like to make your smaller triangle. It can be big, small, it doesn't matter, your choice. Just snip it off and then throw those pieces away because you don't need them anymore. And then you can unfold your star. Now if you folded your first fold from the top down rather than from the bottom up, in this stage it will fall apart. But you didn't do that so it's okay. So you can keep it like that or those edges, can you see some of them go up and some of them go down? So all of the ones that are pointing up need to remain pointing up. The ones that are pointing down on those longer ones, if you fold them back the other way, and then the little pieces need to be folded in. So can you see I can go around? So this one needs to come in rather than sticking out. This one needs to go in rather than sticking out. And you just squeeze it as you go along. Again, the more stars you make, the easier it will be. But it's okay if you put a crease in the wrong place and you straighten it out. So then once they're all done, you've got your burst of star ready to go on your table or on your Christmas tree. And so, as I said before, you can also do bigger ones. So this one, again, do it exactly the same. So fold from the bottom edge up, make your rectangle and crease. Remember, not from the top down, from the bottom up. And then from the bottom right hand corner up to the middle crease and then open it back out again. And then from the bottom left hand corner into the center crease. Rotate it around slightly. If you wish, you don't have to. I just find it easier. 
fold the little edge up to the top fold fold the left hand edge up to join your last fold crease it again fold it up make that triangle then fold the bottom edge up to the left hand edge and cut off that extra piece that you don't need so again you can follow the shape that's there of the triangle or you can make it as however you wish it to be just throw the other piece away that you're not going to be using and then open him out so just the same as you opened up the smaller one but obviously it's bigger you can see there are some of those indents and out dents that are in the wrong place so if it along the long piece if it's dented in you need to dent it the opposite way so fold the fold up so that you've got the crease facing towards you on all of those long pieces and then all of the smaller pieces need to dip in not dip out so if it's dipping out you need to squash it back in again so fold it in and with the big ones you can probably squeeze it together a little bit differently sometimes from underneath and then once you've got them all in you can just check whoop, fold that one in as well give it a good fold make sure you follow those lines as best as you can squeeze them in open them up one more he's got to go back in as well otherwise it won't burst up completely like you want them to and there you have another burst and that one's big enough to fit on your plate <laughs>